So you bought one of those universal remotes, right? Well, I read the instructions and it was still a little complicated, so let me make this easier for you. I bought two. One's already working, so I think I know what to do. This is model number SM24. It's a universal remote. And I have a LiftMaster Chamberlain garage door opener. Step one, take it out of the box. Step two, read the manual, figure out if yours is the same as mine. And then they have all these different things like, oh, is yours linear, chamber, oh, press three times, four times. Is it a green, is it purple, is it indigo, is it violet, is it an orange red button? The next step, you wanna see whether your button is a certain color. Now this is really important. You only need to press the button once. <laughs> I made the mistake, I was not on a step ladder and I could not see the button light turning on. If you hold this button down too long, you end up resetting all of your other remotes. And this morning when my wife wanted to use her garage remote control, remote control, it did not work because I had erased it from the system. So again, you don't need to hold down the button just, just once, let me show you. See right there, there's a button, you just press it once, now it's in learning mode. And you only have a small bit of time. Take off the cover to your remote that you bought on Amazon. You hold this down until it turns blue. There we go. Now it's in programming mode and it's gonna talk to the remote. Now according to mine, it's the purple button. So I press the button three times. One, two, three. Oh, see, I, I missed my window. The learning button turned off, so I'll press it again. One, two, three. That didn't work. That thing should blink. So what we're gonna do is just let everything rest for a minute and start over. I got them out of sequence. I for anyway, I pressed the learn button, but I waited too long. So I press the button again, and now it opens. Oh, and now it stopped it. Yes, it is working. And then all these other switches and stuff. No, I didn't do any of that. And then this second button, that doesn't do anything. That would be if you had another, whoop. Careful while filming and using the step ladder. This second button, I guess you could use that to program just the light or something, but that's it. And that's how you program your garage remote control. And again, I just bought the universal remote control. It was with taxes and Amazon Prime shipping. It was 12 bucks and change. It was the SM24. And then on the instructions, it was the JJRC SM24.LT, and again, right here in the manual, it gives you the hints. But the trick is that I was missing is press that button first, then press the program button, press it three times, and then press the program button again. I was missing step four because, I don't know, for some reason, yeah. Well, I hope that helped. And again, do not hold down the learn button. <laughs> That's going to erase everything and your spouse it won't be able to use their remote and then you're going to lose more time in your day. So you just press that learn button once. That's it. Goodbye.